It's hard being a parent. I know. I had my first baby weeks before the quarantine. It's been so stressful to know what is normal, what is not, to call, to not to call, to take him in, to not to take him in. Thankfully for parents like me, pediatric nurse practitioners like Denise Forrest are getting creative. Had our staff back to 50% in the office and 50% doing telemedicine. She's seen fewer kids since the move online, but she says... We're slowly ramping up. There are positives to the virtual appointments. You can tell if they're running around the room and eating and playing, they're really not that sick. On the flip side... We obviously cannot listen to lungs and hearts and feel tummies. Are you teaching parents how to do that themselves? Yes, sometimes I do talk the parent through like, okay, well first let's rub your child's tummy. Let's see what's happening. And at the same time, trying to look at the reaction of the infant's face. If something doesn't look right, she asks them to bring the child into the office. But sometimes parents are reluctant to do that. They're worried to bring their kids into the office because they don't want their children to get exposed to things. And and that being said, I still think it's really important that they come in and get their immunizations. Colorado already has some of the lowest rates of immunizations among children, according to the state's health department. A lot of us are wondering what what we're going to be seeing a year from now when when more kids are immunized and we don't have the same herd immunity that we had previously. They're doing everything they can to make parents feel comfortable, like splitting up the patients. In the morning, they do the well visits and in the afternoon, the sick kiddos. So we can clean in between. While many of us would prefer to take our babies in physically. There is something so comforting about going into the office and hearing the doctor say, your baby is okay, rather than like, oh, was, did that go all right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> right, right. I mean, it's, it's a challenge, but also, I mean, we are lucky that we've had it. Lucky to have physicians who are getting creative for our families. For Nine News, I'm Sonia Gutierrez. And Four says the quarantine has created a big misconception for older kids that they don't need to go in because they don't need a sports physical. That's not true. She says it's very important that they are seen as well. And they're going through a lot right now emotionally because their social lives are being turned upside down. So they need some mental health care as well.